I just wanted to uh, very quickly uh, show <coughs> how many of you have used, uh, used Windows 8 or seen Windows 8? Uh, uh, so, so Windows 8 uh, allows you to build uh, desktop applications using JavaScript. Right? So that's uh, that's a new stack that's great for now. Earlier you could do it with C++ and .NET, now you can do it with JavaScript too. So I just wanted to kind of very quickly show you, uh, you know, how straightforward it is to build uh, an interface that, that looks like this. Right? So if you wanted to have like a, you know, a tile-based display where you have some information that you want to show, uh, what, is it, what does it take to build that and see if we can actually build one like right now. Um, so, that project. so this is for studio. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, create a new project here. Uh, so, so JavaScript is the, is the new template. So I create a blank application. Uh, so there's nothing in it. Um, okay. Uh, so if I just uh, build and run this, there's absolutely nothing in the project. Uh, <coughs> So the objective is to build a kind of an interface that looks you know, with tiles and groups. So how do you do that? Uh, so uh, how many of you have used knockout.js? I like to call knockout.js. Uh, so uh, knockout.js is this library that allows you to uh, build web applications using a, using a control kind of model. Like, you know, basically, uh, it's actually controls bind it with some data source. And then whenever the data source changes, your controller updates and vice versa. It's too late, right? Uh, so, many, so WinJS also includes a control framework just like that. Uh, so, for instance, if I wanted to uh, just one size, if I wanted to just uh, uh, you know, put up a, for example, list view control, then I can do this. Right? So, maybe I call this number list or something. I can use this uh, uh, this data dash attribute to specify what this control is. Uh, for example, I'd say this is a minjs dot ui dot this thing, uh, and that's it. So, uh, what happens is, you know, when you when you decorate a HTML element with some extra markup like this, uh, then it automatically transforms into that control. Right? So there are different kinds of controls like that. Uh, a list view is just one of them. Uh, <coughs> so, let's see if we can populate this with some data. Right? So maybe I'll just populate it with some uh, with some numbers. So when the application loads, I want this function called init to run, and you know, I'm going to put some, uh, some code over here. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a binding list. So this is going to be my data source, and uh, I'll probably uh, initialize it with some some data, and then I'm going to bind this to my to my data source. Uh, so I'm going to say for numbers list with document dot uh, and I'm going to call this number list. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, if you just say query selector, then you get the reference to the HTML element. If you say not win control, then you get the reference to the control that WinJS has instantiated for us on that page. Uh, and then you get a bunch of you know, functionalities here to uh, set it up with the data source, set it up with the template and things like that. So for example, I can say number list dot item data source equals list dot data source. Right? So list is basically this uh, thing that I put at the top. And this basically hooks, the, hooks my control with the data source, right? And the data right now has only numbers, but then it can contain whatever you want, right? It could be the collection of JSON objects, uh, and then you can figure out how, and you can specify how you want that to be rendered. Uh, so there's a client-side templating support as well, like uh, like Handlebar and other, other libraries that you might have used. So you can define uh, an HTML element that's, that you know specifies exactly how a particular JavaScript object is going to be rendered, and then you can set your control up with that template. Right? Uh, so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also um, add a bit of style. So, for example, I say dot win item. So win item is a is one of the standard class names that you can hook up with a with a list view, and that will style every item that gets rendered inside that list view. Right? Um, for example, here I say that each one should be 50 px. Uh, height should be that, and I want a background color of uh, so you can see that there is a Visual Studio has a inbuilt uh, color pickup, and this is really nice. For example, if I set up a page screen, it automatically changes that to an RGB yes. model. Right? Uh, so I set it up with the background color, and uh, and 
this in his work. Uh, and that's that. So I'll go ahead and hide. Uh, we get nothing.
just automatically does the splitting for us. Right? So it's automatically doing that. Uh, so, so that's pretty much it. Uh, so you can, you know, play, feel free to play around with it. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Thanks. Thanks.